Good morning, friends. I'm Miss Hope. And I'm Miss Avery. We are here today at Westminster College to read you a wonderful book. This week's story time theme is poetry. Do you know what a poem is? Tell me, what do you think they are? That's right! Poems are pieces of writing where we can use our imagination to share ideas and emotions. I like to think of poems as songs without music. Today we are going to be reading a poetry book titled What a Wonderful World by George David Weiss and Bob Thiel, illustrated by Ashley Bryan. Before we read, what do you think makes a wonderful world? I think a wonderful world is when I get to spend time with my friends and family. Miss Hope, what do you think makes a wonderful world? I think a wonderful world is when everyone is kind to one another and helps their neighbor. Now let's begin reading our poetry book, What a Wonderful World. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. What is another flower you have seen bloom? I love watching daffodils bloom, like the ones outside on Westminster's campus. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see skies of blue and clouds of white. The bright blessed day, the dark sacred night. Do you prefer day or night? I like the daytime because I enjoy being outside in the sun, just like the one pictured in our poetry book. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky, are also on the faces of the people going by. What colors are in the rainbow? Say them with me. Red orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Great job! I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? They're really saying, I love you. How do you greet your friends? I greet my friends by giving them a big hug or a wave hello. I hear babies cry. I watch them grow. They'll learn much more than I'll ever know. Yes, I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Now that we have read the poetry book, What a Wonderful World, we can now begin our activity. For this activity, we will be using the outline of a rainbow and shading in each color. You can use colored pencils, crayons, or markers for this coloring sheet. Miss Hope will be using colored pencils today. Can you guess what color she'll be using first? We will begin with red. What color do you think comes after red in the rainbow? If you said orange, you're correct. Now you can finish your rainbow with filling in the rest of the colors. The colors of the rainbow, in case you forgot, are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Once you've finished coloring in your rainbow, you can also label each color of the rainbow, just like the one here. Now that you've labeled your colors, you can add a picture of yourself at the bottom of your rainbow, just like the one in our poetry book, What a Wonderful World. You'll want to cut your picture out in a circle. You'll need scissors and a glue stick to glue it to your rainbow. Thank you for joining us in learning about poetry through What a Wonderful World. See you next time. Bye. Bye.